In this video, we will see the steps to create a screen. So first we will cover simple program in MPP. So to create a simple program in module pool programming, first we have to go to SEAT. So this is the transaction code here. So select the program from the drop down list and give a name and press enter. Click on yes and continue. And then we will give a name for our top include program. Then press enter. The program will be created. Uncomment each and include program and create them. Right click on the program name and activate it. Then we will see the steps to create a particular screen. So right click on the program name, create it. The screen would be there. The screen name we have to enter it. So suppose we are entering the screen name as 0100. We have to press enter. We have to give a particular description and click on flow logic. So uncomment the modules. These would be commented here. So we have to uncomment it and click on layout button. So there would be our UI. From there we have to drag and drop text element and we have to give a name and text. So suppose we are providing the name as T1 and the text is this is simple program. So this is the screenshot here. We have dragged our text element. So here we are providing our name and this is the text that is sample MPP program. So the, it will look like something like this. So check the below screen. So here click on flow logic, double click on PBO module and write the below code. So we have uh, some code here. This is the code here. So we have to set our PF status as menu 100 and the title as title 01. So uh, this uh, we are just ending our module. So this is the module that we have start started here and ended it here. Just click on save and back and double click on PI module. So previously we just did our uh, coding on PBO module. Now we will do it on PAI module. So this is the code here that is model user command 000100 input and if psi ucom is back then leave to screen 0 and if and end module. Just save it and activate it. Now right click on the program name and create transaction. So give the text program name and screen number. So this way we have created a screen and given a transaction name also. So just select all the checkboxes and save it. Now execute our transaction and test the program. So when we are entering our transaction name there, that particular screen that we have created should be now available. Now with a simple example, we will see it programmatically. So let's start with the program. So to access module pre programming, we have to go to SEAT transaction code. So this is the transaction code. So here we can create, just select a program here and just create any random program name. You can create something meaningful. So here it is. So we are creating a Z module prog. This is a program that we will be creating. Click on enter and it is saying it does not exist. So create object, yes. And we have to check this create with top included. So now we have to provide top included name. At the end, this top is mandatory. We have to provide it. Suppose we are providing it as Z underscore includes top. So this is the name that we are providing. And we are just saving local object. So here we go. So our program is created and please note it has these four includes we have to uncomment it just double click on it and click on yes we have to create all this yes local object we won't be writing code now we will write code afterwards for the moment we are just activating Activate anyway, go back, double click on the second one that is PI module, click on yes, save, and local object and we have to check and activate, activate anyway and now double click on this, it does not exist, we have to create it, save and local object. So now if we activate it, it won't show any error since uh, each and every includes are now uncommented. Okay, that's done. So this was simple programming in MPP. 
that we had just created this was the MPP now let's move on to the second part of the session that is to create a screen now how to create a screen just right click on the module program and click on create and then go to screen and now you see the program name is z underscore module broke and we have to provide a screen number let's provide it as 0100 here we go now we have to provide a short description description something like this we can provide it here and now we have to click on layout so we can see this is the layout that that is being showed here now let us for ex for an example just take a text here we have to click on the text provide it as like this now double click on it and now here we can provide the name let us provide it as t1 and in the text we can provide it this is a simple program fine so now that is saved let us just close it and this is done now click on flow logic uh, let us just save it check and activate it so that's done now going back to the flow logic here okay now what you have to do we have to double click on the PBO module here so this was our flow logic here and now what you have to do we have to double click on PBO module so let's uncomment it this one also and double click on it we have to select the PBO one which one was the top one we just save it and click on module to program and here in the PBO module this is the PBO module we will double click on it here and we will include our program code so I have already written my code here I will paste it here so module Z test 001 which is this one so it is the output and we are just setting the pf status menu 0, 100 and the title bar is title 01 so I have to save it check it and activate it so that's done now similarly we will do for the PAI modules we will double click on here and write our code here so I have already done this part I will just copy from here and paste it here so there we go so this Z test I01 input and this is of the type input and SciUcom is back itself leave to the screen so that's it we will save it check and activate it so that's done now we have to just test our application and for that we will just right click here program name and click on create and then go to transaction so we have to make a transaction code to run our screen so now let us give a transaction the custom tran so this is the transaction code that I am giving I am putting Z in front of it since it is a custom one so here screen 1 and program name and screen name also we have to provide so the program name was Z underscore module proc Z underscore and the screen number was I think 0100 zero zero. so here we go so we have to check for all these GUI supports SAP GUI for HTML for Java and for Windows I will save it local object okay now remember this was our transaction code if I just run this transaction code that screen would appear 
so I will go into new window and paste my transaction code here so here we go so it is coming this is a simple program this is um, what we have created in our screen we have made use of a text here so it is coming so I hope this session on module programming was clear to you so that's it for this video thanks for watching